Hi hey guys, welcome to today's live stream. I'm Minnick Bradley and welcome to Beauty Club. I really love these live streams because I get to answer your questions in real time and share my absolute love and passion for makeup. So this journey, this love affair started when I was 10 years old when I started doing theatre in Wellington and my mum bought me my first own real makeup to wear on stage, black eyeliner, blue eyeshadow, some powder to powder me down and bright red lipstick perfect for when you're doing your school shows. So that's where it really started. I was the girl who was sent to the principal's office and told to take all my makeup off every day and that was at primary school. So that love affair continued all through intermediate when I would dress myself up as Boy George because he had the best makeup. Through to college where I was probably one of the few people at Newlands College who wore makeup just about every day. And uh, right through to university and then when I he headed into my 20s I started working in professional theatre Theater. By the way, that's my web website details. I started working in professional theatre. I've worked in film and television. I have also done a lot of makeup for people going to a ball, for special events, for weddings even, and I absolutely love it. In fact, I used to say in my 20s and 30s that I love makeup so much. I will marry it. Well, I made that official and I am actually qualified as a makeup artist. So Beauty Club is really something that I share with you guys to answer those questions that you're probably wondering about. But a makeup artist will never tell you because they want to be able to transform you. Whereas I want to give you the tools so that you can transform yourself and be the you that you want to be every single day without breaking out in a sweat. So that's my mission with Beauty Club. I do want to say a big thank you to the wonderful people from Kathy Organics who really support these shows I'm live streaming out through their Facebook page as well and the reason why I really am uh, so proud of Kathy Organics is they have a focus on good quality skincare made here in New Zealand and the one thing the first tip I want to share with you guys tonight is that really good makeup starts with good quality skin first so there's no point investing in heaps of money when it comes to makeup until you get your skin right first and that comes down to a good daily routine using an, a good cleanser uh, I always love using a toner as well a really good moisturizer you want to use something like a rosehip oil uh, which is a natural ingredient which will add hydration to your skin there's their information and this is some of the products that I actually use in my own bathroom actually I, I love their products uh, so all natural, no nasties. You want to exfoliate a couple of times a week because the dry dead skin cells on the surface of your skin will actually make you not only look older, but it will interfere with your foundation. And that's the subject of tonight's live stream. These are two of the products from my bathroom. I use them every day. These products in particular uh, have been created uh, loaded with antioxidants which fight the free radicals which are in our environment and cause aging but at the same time they help so they help fight aging but they give you heaps of hydration and moisture so you're going to end up with really good looking skin first this product is the Marula Rich Moisturizer. Why I love this is this moisturizer is the perfect primer to go underneath your foundation. I'm even going to show you. There are so many things I want to share, but I've only got a short window of opportunity tonight. However, I do have. Oh, hi, Sanu. Nice to see you, and thank you for sending that wave through. Because I can see you guys on here, it's nice to see you on the stream. If you've got any questions at all while I'm live, send them on through, and I'm happy to share my experience of having been an absolute devotee of makeup for the last 35 years. Oh, it makes me sound so old. Okay, so tonight I'm going to share with you which foundation is best for your skin type. Now, there's some there's some clues to this. I'm not going to show you, I'm not going to talk you through color. It's more about the quality of your skin. And remember, my big tip is start with good skin first. So when it comes to choosing the right foundation, if you've got oily skin, I need you to look for a foundation with two ingredients. One is called dimethicone, or even look for an oil-absorbing clay in the ingredients on the back. 
and you want to help use those to absorb the extra oil on your skin. I highly recommend that you opt for a product that has a powder based finish. You don't want to opt for anything that's going to make you look dewy and greasy because you already have excess grease on your skin. When it comes to combination skin, you want something that keeps everything balanced. So if you've got combination skin, chances are you're dry through the cheeks and you've got an oily T-zone. That's where the Marula Rich Moisturizer is going to be your friend. You can use it as a primer because it has a matte finish. You don't want to wear a lot of shimmer if you're a combination skin. You want to wear something that's a little bit more matte to keep that little bit of oil under control. If you've got sensitive skin, I need you to go for something natural and I want you to keep away from anything with a fragrance and anything with alcohol. So when you're looking at a foundation, look on the back of the container and check out those ingredients. I also want you to avoid anything that's waterproof because waterproof foundations are harder to remove from your skin. They'll stay in your pores on your skin unless you're just about exfoliating every day and it will actually clog your pores. So unless you have pigmentation, if you've got sensitive skin, I want you to go light. And I'm going to show you the options when it comes to light product that you can use. Finally, if your skin is dry, as I mentioned, dry skin can also appear flaky and it can make you look a bit textured on the skin which means you need to exfoliate probably twice a week, which sounds weird, but don't cause irritation. Go gentle. And something that you might want to use, I would keep away from anything too powdery because your skin already has a lean towards looking a little powdery as well. So those are the particular types of products. Or well, give notice that your pores, particularly through here, might start to open and that you might be a little greasier through the T-zone or you might never have had oily skin before and because of those hormonal changes, your skin will all of a sudden become really, really oily. It's perfectly normal. There's a way to combat it and I'm going to give you the tools tonight to ensure you choose which foundation is going to be the best product for you. And the answer may be no foundation. First of all, I'm going to show you the different types of products available in the market that I use all the time. Oh, hi, Nadine. I'm so glad that you love BB cream. Drew Harding, so good to see you. I know, don't we love makeup, baby? Oh my God, it completely transforms you. These are the pretty standard products that are on the market, and I will talk you through them. Um, first of all, BB or CC cream or tinted moisturizer is one product, they're all, well, they're three completely different products. They do slightly different things, but they're all in one category. I'm going to talk you guys through that. You, you've got your standard liquid foundation that you may have seen in a pharmacy, all around, or even in the supermarket. They've got them on, on offer there. I'm going to talk you through a cream foundation. It's a quite a different product, and I highly recommend it, particularly for women who are a little bit older who need a little thicker foundation. Pancake is what I actually started out using. You may remember the old Shiseido pancakes back in the day. Really thick coverage, and I loved it, particularly for use for use in theatre. Great for photography as well. If you're not uh, doing anything close up, it's better from a distance. And then finally, mineral powder, which is not really like foundation at all. It's just like putting on powder because it is a powder and it will still give you coverage. All right, so the first product you may have heard of is BB cream, CC cream, or a tinted moisturizer. I used to be a, a direct sales person for a company. I won't mention the name, but my tinted moisturizer was actually my biggest product, biggest selling product. And the reason why it sold so much is that teenagers love to use it and they didn't want to look like they wore a lot of foundation, but wanted a little bit more of an even coverage through to their mums would use it as well because it's a low, low maintenance type of product. So tinted moisturizer is really what it is. It's moisturizer with a tint in it. Why it's fantastic for your skin is it actually loads extra moisture into your skin. So if you tend to be a little bit dry skinned, it's a really good product for you. If you're oily, I'd keep away from a tinted moisturizer because chances are you'll end up by the end of the day looking like a greasy oil slick or you'll have to use a lot of powder products and really layer up that product to get rid of the shine. A BB cream, BB actually stands for beauty blemish or blemish be gone. Lots of different makeup artists have different names for it. BB creams are actually designed to give you a nice lighter coverage than a tinted moisturizer. Sorry, lighter than a foundation, but a, a little bit more than a tinted moisturizer, so it kind of sits in between that spectrum. But BB creams also have added ingredients and therefore hydration and often contain an SPF, 
and antioxidants as well. So if you wanna go out with a product on which is still relatively light, so if you've got freckles or pigmentation spots, you'll still see them underneath, but you won't feel like you've got a heavy layer of foundation. It will even out your skin tone. It won't be as greasy as a tinted moisturizer. It will give you a little bit more coverage, but you've also got a bit of SPF in there, and that's really, really, really important, particularly in the New Zealand light. Finally, CC cream. If you've ever wondered what that means, CC stands for color correction. So what it will do is when you wear a CC cream and it works really well with a primer like the Marula Rich Moisturizer, which I've mentioned earlier, CC cream, when you put it on, you know how you've got different coloration through your face? Basically, it will give you a nice even coverage and will even out your skin tone. So you might notice you have slightly yellower patches or you might have darker patches on your face. Again, it's a very light coverage. I've got a screen here to highlight those key points for you. So we'll take a look right now. If you're on your phone, take a screenshot of this image or you can go to my website and this information is already loaded into my website as a blog for you guys so you can take down the details but there it is extra extra co coverage with um, some SPFs as a BB cream uh, lighter than foundation CC cream is a color corrector really good for your skin as well tinted moisturizer is a very sheer foundation they're all suitable for skin for every skin type that doesn't need coverage. So if you're using a really good skincare range, like my wonderful friends at Kathy Organics, if you're using that and the quality of your skin is amazing, you can get away with a, a beautiful BB cream, a tinted moisturizer or a CC cream to make everything low maintenance in your life. How easy was that? I mean, super easy, right? So that's your first product. So. What I'd highly recommend is go to one of your beauty bars, go to um, a place where you can try it as well because you want to feel the consistency on your skin. And it's really important not just to buy a product off the shelf, but to do a good color match. And the best way to do that is to put the color on your jawline, make sure it rubs in, it blends beautifully into your skin. You shouldn't see a line when that color comes in. And then basically you want to check it in store, but at the same time you want to walk out of the store and you want to check in daylight with a mirror because there's nothing worse than buying a product in a store and then heading outside and all of a sudden you look orange in daylight we don't want that so that's that's the best way to do a color match don't ever test it on your arm on your hand nothing it's got to go on your face and two if you've got lots of pigmentation like i've had don't let anybody color match to your pigmentation use a camouflage palette like this and i'll be doing a show just on how to camouflage your face in a few weeks time use a camouflage palette to learn how to cover up your pigmentation patches and get the base color of your skin underneath that pigmentation as your foundation. So there you go, lots of magic tricks to share with you guys tonight. Okay, let's take a look at the next product. I'm gonna show you the screen and then talk you through a few tips. So here's product number two. This is your standard liquid foundation. You may have seen it in a bottle like this with a nozzle or without. Liquid foundation does work for most skin types. So even if you're sensitive, if you're dry, even if you're oily, it's really good. And the reason why is you can adjust the depth of coverage. So if you don't have enough coverage, you can keep putting it on and putting it on until you've got enough. But most importantly, the finishes are different on all of the liquid foundations. So whether you want a dewy look, you can get that. So some of the foundations in the market are designed to give you that dewy lighter look. It will be less coverage, but it will give you the kind of that glistening youthful look. And some of the, the finishes on them, particularly if you have oily skin, go matte. So I've written there, there's your exception. Women with oily skin should avoid a dewy finish foundation and should set any liquid foundation with a translucent powder to reduce the shine. And that's a really important tip to take away from tonight too. Okay, so I've got one of my favorite. I, um, I tend to wear a liquid foundation for certain events or if I know I'm being photographed because I know for a fact this liquid foundation, I'm not going to show you the brand because they're not paying me to, sh to tell you about this brand, by the way. Um, this one in particular doesn't have an SPF in there. So that's a great thing, particularly if I'm going somewhere where I want to maybe, um, I'm gonna be photographed and I don't wanna reflect. So an SPF in your foundation will actually reflect when the flash goes off and it will make you look really white and pasty. So we don't necessarily want that. Now, if you, are, if you do have drier skin, 
or you want to do something like maybe create that dewy look that I talked about, but your foundation is matte. So if you want to mix it up a little bit, I've put a little bit of liquid foundation on here on my hand. And all you need to do is actually add a drop of rosehip oil to your foundation. So that's the Kathy Organics Beautiful Rosehip Oil. Uh, oil brightening plus now when it comes to blending it all in there's a, even a variety of brushes so I would always I personally use with a liquid foundation I always use a brush and the reason being I want to get as much coverage as possible so I'd go for a brush like this or you can go for what's called a stipple brush which has a flat top or this is actually called a skunk brush. A skunk brush is made up of two different types of fibers. With a foundation because it's really heavily liquid you actually want to go with a brush that has an artificial fiber and the reason being you end up on your skin so there you go. So to make this into that kind of dewy look you just basically blend in all of that rosehip oil and what will end up happening is your skin will, particularly if you're using a matte foundation, your skin will end up looking really glowy and dewy. And it will, it will make sure everything's even. It will, it will kind of give you a slightly lighter coverage as well because you're adding a little bit more moisture, but it will actually hydrate your skin throughout the day. So it's a really nice way. And if you compare my two hands, can you see that difference? I've given myself a really nice light coverage without looking too caked on and that's that's super important to me as well you can really see that difference between my hands so there you go that's an easy way to get that kind of dewy useful looking look without having to buy a, a whole nother product you can do it really easy and the rosehip oil is a really great way to add hydration and nourishment to your skin at the same time Liquid foundation, as I mentioned, great for most skin types. Just if you're a little oily, uh, I want you to look at using some sort of powder on top. A translucent powder will be your friend. However, there are other products which are, are highly suitable for those of you who do have oily T-zone or oily skin. Let's take a look at the next product. This is one of my absolute go-tos, cream foundation. I really love it. Ladies, if you're over 40, this is a great product for you because it gives you a medium to full coverage and it is really good for those of you because it has a cream base who have drier skin. The one thing I want you to be mindful of is the way you apply it. So you can apply it thicker. Um, it has a beautiful creamy consistency, so it's a little bit like a, a really rich night cream. A little will go a long way and you often apply it with a sponge. So if you need to use this as a coverage or a concealer as well, you can use a brush to top it up at the same time. Um, you can use your sponge to add an extra layer and it really is a beautiful cream, has a beautiful creamy consistency. So often products like a, a creamy kind of um, a creamy kind of foundation will have a compartment with a sponge in it like this. This is um, from my friends at Radi Essence. Love the product, use it all the time, think it's amazing. They only have um, four colors as well, so it makes choosing the right color easy. If you get the color that's a little too light, you just add a touch of extra bronzer. It's so easy to work with. I've used this on so many people and so many of my friends have bought it as well because you literally can keep adding to it. I mean, you can see it's well loved here. You can keep adding up on top of your foundation if you want thicker coverage. So because particularly for those of us who are starting to get creping around the eyes as we're getting older, I would then grab my skunk brush and I just dip the ends in there and I actually pop it into the lines around my eyes so that I can actually tap the product in. So this product is actually really forgiving. It's one of my absolute favorites and like I said, it is suitable for every age and every skin type, by the way. However, I find it a really easy to work product. Now, the base of these products is usually something like a beeswax. So it's designed to stay in place as well, which I think is really good. And at the same time, you can wear it just like it is and it will have a really clean, fresh finish. Or you can add a powder over the top if you want to give it a little bit more of a matte finish, depending on your skin type. So love cream foundations really good for every day and again this is low maintenance this is an easy product to work with so definitely needs to be on your list suitable for most skin types let's take a look at the next one 
I just like to share, I love makeup by the way guys. Pancake foundation, this is the one I actually started with, one of my absolute favorites. I started with the Shiseido pancake when I was about 10. Um, I love it. This was actually designed for theater and film and I do believe Revlon was one of the first companies to actually mass produce pancake foundation for everyday use. If you really want a super, super uber thick coverage to hide your imperfections, to hide all your pigmentation spots, spots, this is the one for you. You apply it with a sponge and using water. So you can adjust the thickness of this as well. You just keep adding and keep adding until you get that beautiful, perfect canvas. It's really thick, so it is ideal for use on camera or for theatre, which is where what it was designed for originally. It's basically a foundation and a powder in one, and it has a really matte finish. So if you've ever bought a palette like this, like I have, you can get them all over the place. All you need to do is you grab your sponge and it is best suited for use with a sponge. You wet your sponge and then you pop that in there, circle it around and then you basically, I pat it all over my face to get the coverage that I'm after. It doesn't really work with a brush or a stipple brush or a um, skunk brush at all. It really is about the sponge. What you'll notice, however, is that if your skin is oily, it's, gr it's a great product because it will leave you really matte. However, sometimes you need to work the product because it will show up your pores if your pores are really big. If your pores are really big, I'd really highly suggest you try a good quality toner that has witch hazel in it. Kathy Organics Hydrating Toner is fantastic. So it will help close your pores naturally. It won't cause any irritation. And particularly for those of us who are in that 40 mumble uh, age bracket where you're starting to notice different changes, your skin's getting a little greasier maybe, you're getting bigger pores, you wanna actually refine those pores down. When you start with the good skin first, when it comes to putting on a pancake, if you are going to do that really thick makeup, uh, it won't show up those imperfections at all exceptional for covering up pigmentation spots absolutely fantastic as i said you can control the level of coverage as well just by adding more water or less water you make it slightly thicker a little bit like poster paint i guess you'd say really good product to use but it is a particular product for a particular purpose if you don't need something thick to wear every day don't i wouldn't recommend it because over a long period of time, you may notice that your skin starts to clog up a little bit. So it's really important to make sure your skincare is great, that you're using a good exfoliator and you're cleaning out your skin as well. On that same point, a cream foundation that's super thick for those of you who want that same level of coverage, but you want a thick one. Um, not paid to tell you this, but I will share it. This is a foundation I used to use all the time when I had severe pigmentation. This is actually designed for use for people with high pigmentation or melasma problems, and also for people who have burns as well. So this was designed for them. It's a camouflage makeup from uh, Estee Lauder. Super, super thick. It's not an ideal one if you want that glowy, chewy look, but this is the same sort of effect that you would get from a pancake. So it will dry quite matte as well. This product won't dry out your skin. By the way, if you want the details on all this information, you can head to my website, moniquebradley.tv. This is already loaded as a blog on the front page. So it will really give you major coverage in the same way that the pancake will. It's just in a liquid form. Okay, so there you go. Some of my favorite products. I think from memory, I have one more product to show you. So let's take a look. Oh, just waiting for it to come up on screen. Final product, Pete. Oh, no, I've got one more, hopefully. Pancake foundation, we've done that one. We've got one more. Uh, here we go, mineral powder. For those of you who don't want to wear a foundation at all, this is your new best friend. If you still want a little bit of coverage, but you want um, to feel light and you want to allow your skin to breathe, mineral powder is amazing. A little bit goes a long way. It literally is made from minerals. So it is a wonderful thing to put directly onto your skin. However, tips from me, wait for your moisturizer to be absorbed first. Really important, otherwise it can end up looking a little cakey. So put on your moisturizer, use the Marula Rich Moisturizer from Kathy Organics as your primer, and then leave it for about 10 minutes. Go and phone a friend, have a cup of tea, do what you need to do, and then put your mineral powder on top. Um, there's nothing artificial in here, which resonates with me, and there's no oils or perfumes, so it can be really good for people who do have sensitive skin. However, for those of you with extremely dry skin, 
So you may have a little bit of um, maybe eczema or rosacea there. I want you to avoid wearing a powder foundation or a mineral powder because if you've got any sort of scaling on the skin or dryness, that powder can actually sit in the scales and it will actually draw more attention to the scales or, or the dryness than you're looking for. Powder foundations are great. I now have transformed my skin, so I used to wear that really thick foundation that I showed you before. I used to have to wear that every day to cover my pigmentation. Now I don't. I wear, most days I would wear a mineral powder. They come in all shapes and sizes from, you know, a container like this to um, the container under my camouflage palette. You may know products like Thin Lizzy, all sorts of amazing products are out there. The one thing I would suggest you do is check the ingredients on the back. You don't want to put a product on your skin that's loaded with talc. You want to really look for something that is natural. Organic is always great, particularly as you're putting something directly onto your skin and your skin's your biggest organ. So you want to put something as natural as possible on there so it doesn't go into your system and really adversely affect your health. You want to make sure it's all natural and nice for your skin too. You're less likely to break Break out if your clogs, if, if your clogs, if your pores aren't clogged as well. So it's really important that if you don't need to wear foundation every day, or if you don't want to, but you still want that little bit of coverage, you don't want to wear a tinted moisturizer. If you go for a, a really nice pigment powder or a mineral powder, you'll be able to get a little bit of coverage. I was absolutely amazed when I first started using it. It will give you coverage, but without that heavy weight, or you don't feel like you're a greasy oil slick or loaded with too much product. The one thing I would highly recommend though is you want to go when you're using a mineral powder you want to go with it for a brush with the longest bristles that you can find and the reason why it will give you better coverage and it will blend better as well the other tip I would share with you is that particularly if you are in the same age bracket as me so you're 40 mumble and you're starting to notice those fine lines and wrinkles around the eye go gentle don't I if you've heard of caking or baking or whatever they call it I can't do it. it. It causes, it creates too much attention around the lines in my eyes. Go really gently and really lightly around that area because you don't want to add extra product into those creases and all of a sudden you look like you've aged 10 years in about two minutes. So go really gentle. But most importantly, go light. And the great thing about mineral powder is you can build up the layers of color. So the more coverage you want, Go a little bit at a time and I always do it in a circular motion right around my face. So there you go, that's my tips on foundation. Really important to find the best foundation for you. If you want to find out more, if you've just joined the live stream and you want to get more of the details about tonight's topic, that's my web address. Go to moniquebradley.tv, halfway down the page, You'll see this, I've loaded it, loaded it all in as a blog. You can read it for yourself. The screens are all in there. So when it comes to finding the right foundation for you, you're armed with the right information to make the best possible choice. So you're not gonna waste money. That's super important to me. Now, if you love the idea of these Kathy Organics products, they are super good. I would not talk about them if I didn't love them and if I didn't use them every day. And I do, I love them. I think they're amazing. They've transformed my skin. I've gone from having a face like 75% covered with a pigmentation to having that pigmentation just about completely gone. It really is amazing. So if you want to try their products, this month they have a special offer on their website that I can't wait to tell you guys about. You can go to their website, Kathy Organics, Kathy spelled C-A-I-T-H-Y, kathyorganics.com. When you go to their website, any order over $70 you'll receive a free aloe and cocoa eye cream. Now that eye cream is worth its weight in gold. It's magical. Aloe for calming the area down around the eyes and cocoa for stimulating and hydrating and for also invigorating the eyes so you look more awake. It really is an amazing product. And let me tell you, having dealt with so many skincare brands over the years, the one thing I've learned is that you can buy a whole lot of products. And some ranges, for the cost of one product alone, you can have an entire skincare regime from Kathy Organics. I am not 
even kidding. It's really well priced. What I love is it's made here in New Zealand. They've sourced organic ingredients where they can find them. No animal testing, no parabens, no nasties, nothing that will irritate your skin. It really is amazing. Um, Ian Sims, hello to you. Good to see you. Oh, thank you. Ian's just said you look amazing. Why, thank you. It's very, very um, kind. Diwan Thakur, nice to see you as well. Um, thank you for joining the stream and thank you for um, your lovely comment. So there you go, team. When it comes to finding the right foundation, the most important thing you need to remember is you have to start with good skin first. Your skin is the canvas that you use makeup to paint your portrait. So start with skin. Always, always take off with your skin care or your makeup at the end of the day. Super important because when you sleep, that's when you generate those fresher, newer, more beautiful skin cells. So make sure you get some great products that look after your skin and as always, if you've missed the stream, go to my website and you can find out more and find out some of the other things I've done from style to beauty to anything to do with happiness and having the best life possible. Right, time for me to go. Thanks so much to you guys for joining the live stream. Please, please, please like and share this because I want to share these tips that the makeup artists artist will never tell you. They don't want you to know this because they want to sell you more product. I want you guys to have the tips so you can make the best choices. I'm Monique Bradley. A big thanks to my producer and director, Pete Wood. He's the online guy. You can see his live streams coming up very soon as well. And a big, big, beautiful hug and a thank you to my wonderful friends from Kathy Organics for creating beautiful products that make foundation a joy to work with. Time for me to go. Stay fabulous and stay beautiful. See you guys. Bye.